board. Have mercy. Tame the lion's mane. Tame the lion's mane. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a video about the one thing that I get questions about more than anything else in like the history of ever. Now I haven't been vlogging super long, I haven't been on YouTube super long, but you know, I've always said, you guys have any questions, just ask. The number one question that I get asked is about my ring. So yes, I am engaged for those of you who are new here. And today we're gonna to go through all of those questions. I'm going to answer all of the questions about my ring, kind of clear up a few things, and then, yeah, I mean, that's it, <laughs> that's it. And that lovely loud slamming noise that you hear in the background, that's my sweet fiance who gave me this ring. So just, that's his way of joining us for this video. Are you moving like trucks or, or what? So before we get into the video, make sure to go below and click the big red subscribe button. I put up three videos every single week. I want you guys, oh my God, Sam. So we're trying this again, now that he's hopefully gonna be quieter. Go click the red button below, subscribe, because I put up three videos every single week. I have a wedding series here on YouTube. Um, just subscribe so that you get notified whenever I upload, and let's get into the video. I got engaged December 3rd, 2016, and we had started talking about engagement in January. So we talked about engagement for a full year before it actually happened. Um, he purchased the ring in July, so we had been talking about it for like seven months. When he purchased the ring, it came in in August, he purchased it online, we'll get into that in a minute, and then he proposed in December with the most perfect ring in the entire world. And it's a Morganite. I like get asked that question so many times. No, it is not a diamond. It is a pink stone. It is a morganite. I will insert a very close up photo um, if I can find one that makes it look pink. The reason that a lot of people are confused when they see my ring versus like when they have seen my ring on social media is that it does not photograph pink. The way I came about Morganite is I wanted something that was different. I found an engagement ring that I absolutely loved. It was a gorgeous silver engagement ring, engagement ring with diamonds, and it had like this just gorgeous diamond band, and I loved it. And I was like, oh my god, everybody, look at this ring that I just absolutely love. I definitely recommend trying on um, engagement rings before you make a decision. Because I tried this one on, and I absolutely loved it. There were a few that I thought I would like, but I didn't found one that I loved and when I was like showing people, oh look, this is the ring that I absolutely love. There were so many people that were like, oh my cousin has that ring, oh my sister has that ring, oh my best friend has that ring. And I was like, yay, I'm gonna have a ring that everybody else has. You know, not to discredit rings, you know, there are some people that just like the same thing, there's some people that don't care. And I totally get that I'm, you know, unless you do a ring that's custom, you're gonna have something that other people have. But I didn't want a ring that everybody and their mothers had too. And there's so many rings that I've seen that all look identical. And so I was just like rattling my brain one day and I was like, God, come on, what can I get? It's like different. And so I went on a Pinterest and I was like, unique engagement rings. And of course I found three stones, a sapphire, an emerald, and then a um, morganite. And I looked at all three and I also found aquamarine, which is like a lighter blue. And I looked at all three and I was like, definitely 1000%, the Morganite is more me. It's a pink, peachy pink stone and I want it in a rose gold setting. Ended up, there is tons that you can find on the internet. Morganites are actually way more popular than they seem. And I absolutely fell in love with Morganites. I knew that was the ring I wanted. My fiance was not so happy about that decision. He said he thought I was crazy. He was like, why do you want a pink stone? It's tacky, it's weird, and now he is absolutely in love with the ring, just like I am. The reason that I get a ton of questions about my ring is because people will see it online. People have known that I'm engaged for months. They'll see it online, they're like, oh, it's so pretty, and then they'll see me in person, and they're like, it's pink. I'm like, yes, it is. It doesn't photograph pink, which makes me sad, but it is a peachy pink stone. And so yeah. Just the first question I get asked a lot, no, it's not a diamond, it is a morganite. 
And no, I do not regret not getting a diamond. I will never regret it. I absolutely am 1000% and in love with this ring. There's not a ring out there that's more perfect for me and who I am. And it actually goes quite well with my skin tone, but hmm. So the next question that I get a lot is the size. So I don't really like talking about the size of my ring, but it's matter of fact. Um, my ring is 2.7 carats. It's a pretty large stone. Um, Morganites are kind of sized sometimes a little bit different than diamonds. So like technically, if you're looking up a Morganite and you want one that is the same size, you would look up a 10 by 8. So like 10 X 8, that's what you would look up. This is a 10 by 8 Morganite. So they're measured differently, not necessarily by carats or by weight, but just by 10 by 8. Um, you do get a more of a pink peachy colored like stone with a morganite when you hit three carats and up. So I'm very, very close to having that super pink stone, but because it's a 2.7 carat, it's not super pink, but I mean, I don't mind that it looks like a diamond. I just definitely thought it would show up more pink in photos. And like if once I add a filter because I have an Instagram theme, that's it, it's done. You can never tell it's a morganite. And I just, I love that it's peachy pink, but it is a 10 by eight, it's 2.7 carats, and it is in a solitaire shank setting, I believe is what it's called. So the next thing that um, a lot of people ask me is where did you get your ring? So they actually, the company that makes my ring, I found them online and they make tons of different rings, moissanites, um, morganites, emeralds, aquamarines, all kinds of stones. They make gorgeous, gorgeous, well handcrafted jewelry. I love them. Um, they are called Sam and Sue. So like Sam and Sue. And found them online, actually through another YouTuber. And they have now so many different variations of this ring. I think they sell this exact ring a little bit different. I've seen it like in a square version. Um, I've seen it with like diamonds around the band, but I'm not sure if they sell this exact one online still. I'll link it down below. But the site that I found it is Sam and Sue. I know that a lot of people are like, how do you feel? A lot of people find me through their Instagram because they tagged me on Instagram when they um when i like posted my picture i tagged them so they like copied the picture and put it on theirs so a lot of people find me through there and i get a lot of questions you know what is the quality of your ring like does it hold up well do you still love your ring yes 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 love the quality of my ring it's hold up it's held up very well um it, i have not once struggled with this ring in the slightest it sits up really high off my hand i wear it all the time excuse me and it's held up beautifully Again, I don't think that has anything to do with it being, you know, a Morganite that I don't regret. But, I mean, some people just, like, really fear buying rings online. It wasn't something that we worried about. We're going to get my wedding band from them. Um, we're probably going to get Sam's wedding band from them. But, like I said, Sam and Sue, the quality is amazing. The craftsmanship's amazing. It comes in a pretty little box. So, when I get the, um, when you get the ring, it comes in this pretty little box. Obviously, I did not get this box. This was the box that my fiance opened the ring in. Um, when he proposed, he just had this box. So you get this pretty little nice leather box. If you are one of the people that has found Sam and Sue and you know, you're know you wondering whether or not you should buy an engagement ring from them, you absolutely should. The craftsmanship is amazing. The quality is amazing. I've emailed her a few times, always got a response very quickly. Um, I considered doing a custom wedding band for a while and then I ended up finding one that I love um, online. They are getting more popular by the day, so if you know you want to email them, you may not be able to get responses quickly, but just it's such a perfect ring. The next question that I get a lot is how do I clean my ring? So Morganites don't have to be cleaned like an outrageous amount. Um, I think if you see things online, like a lot of people are like, oh, you have to clean it once a week. I don't do that. I clean mine like once a month, if I remember. And I mean, it never looks dirty. It's always gorgeous, always sparkly. Um, when I do clean it, all I do is I soak it in hot water for like five minutes. I take a very small kid's toothbrush and just like Dawn dish soap and just lightly scrub it, rinse it off, shake it, 
blow it with a blow dryer and it's perfect. But I mean, I've never had any issues. And like I say, I wear this ring all the time. And I mean, it's still gorgeous. And that is all I can really think of for this video. I just kind of wanted to get on here and answer all of the questions that you guys are always asking me on Instagram through private message. I get at least like one question about my ring a day. And so I just wanted to sit down have it all out with you for a quick overview. It's Morganite, I wear a size six, it's 2.7 carats. Got it from Sam and Sue online. I will link them below. You guys will love them like I do. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.